This is Alex. We're doing so listen, good. We're amazing. You guys listen, this is not how it was we supposed started. to happen, but we have we have improvised. We did. We overcame so much just now. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna move my chat. chat. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm here, I'll, I'll put you guys over here. Oh, oh gosh. Let me grab the size and handle, here. grab the shrink you guys down a little. Oh, okay. That'll be a fun image for the background over there behind us instead of just my desktop background. <laughs> um, uh, hang on. Oh yeah, we have, I have truck, some. Right? I'll put some insane image back there. Um, also, I hope everyone's doing well. <laughs> We're all doing that really good. Um, we had a hard time getting this going. Um, and thank you for waiting. We're, like <laughs> we're doing better now. <laughs> yes, yes, and thank you for waiting. Oh, I just moved that. Let's do like. <laughs> Wait, I can't this see. Really good <laughs> I'm scared. There we go. <laughs> Close the good up. <laughs> Has Hi Rachel everyone, holy cow, there's so many people in the chat. I'm so, I'm loving the hype. Thank you guys for being here. Um all right, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go through and like just say some hellos. Hi Ali the Gamer, Washer Josh, Glowing Toxic, Dr. Boiled Egg. That's a that's a great name. California Ooh, Coasting, Noah, K pop Roblox, period, <laughs> Bradley, <laughs> Lepre Leprechan, or Leprechaun, I think. I don't know. Uh, uh, gamer Leonard Nihoff, Colossus Lover. Oh, Colossus is a slave. Ooh, which happy. one? I assume. Oh, that's a great. That's a great question. I assume that's like Goliath. Part. That's very vague. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, that is like Goliath. <laughs> Mr. Mako, Florida. Milo, Candy Crystal, Germany. B Brooks. Hi, everyone. How many people? I... We have fifty-five human beings in here. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. That makes me I so can't nervous. see you guys at all. Yeah. <laughs> that makes me so nervous. I get stage oh, fright. Be nervous. They're fun. Hi, Cha. I'm good, Dr. Boiled Egg. How are you? <laughs> I am the oh, same. I, I will, any excuse to say that in the live stream, I'm going to do Dr. it. Dr. Boiled Egg. Yes. Dr. Boiled Egg. <laughs> like, having a name like that is guaranteed to be noticed. <laughs> Absolutely. You do, You really deserve it with a creative mind like that. Um, uh, hi, Rachel, yeah. Cantor, so good to see you too. <gasps> Smiler shirt, yes! Smile always. Oh wait, we did like, we have like a little like theme happening. We both have Girl Stronger oh, shirts on. Like yes. a little theme. Yeah. Oh gosh, look at how disgusting, how poorly organized my closet is. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much junk in here. Boop. Oh, clean. <laughs> <laughs> no right, pressure, so we're unblinkingly staring at us both. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? No pressure, we're unblinkingly staring Please at us blink. both. <laughs> Blinking is important. With the emojis. <laughs> that face is perfect. You guys um, are so funny. They are, they're hilarious. Our kind of vibe for the stream tonight is we're gonna go through um, some like, Coaster awards slash like just European slickation awards for parks, moments, stuff. Um, we've got a list of some pretty funny ones that we're gonna go through. And then go through like our favorite coasters, kind of top 10, top five-ish area. Um, and then, <laughs> wait, sorry, I just got distracted by the eye mouth eye uh, emoji again. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then our, our least favorite ones are like bottom three, bottom five area. Um, Sleeper hit coasters, rides that kind of just, we didn't really expect to be um, what they were, and they were great. Um, has Rachel been found? No. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel is still in the ether somewhere. <laughs> Rachel is on. Oh my god, the rain! <laughs> <laughs> that is my, that's my, uh, how I feel about Rachel. Yeah, that's very, this is very, to not finding Rachel here. Um, um, no rain for you. No um, I can't feel um, the rain on my skin. It is not. It is three thirty for Alex. It is six thirty for me. We are um, on the opposite sides of the country. Of the planet. Of the planet. It feels like sometimes the, the entire world. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let me um, adjust this image so we can see a little better. We'll just kind of, I'll just kind of change this image every so often. But, um, I mean, we got a bunch of people in here. I guess we can go ahead and kind of start going through our should do it. answers. So yeah. let me try displaying the rankings <laughs> or the things that we're answering here. So people have like a visual. I'll do that. And like, right. they know it's like super informal. So they're, if you guys have <laughs> questions or want to know stuff, like, this is your time. Yeah. This is this is the time to shine. Now is your time to shine, to let us all know what you're thinking and any sort of questions here. So this is what we're going to go through. We answered all of these individually and have not told each other our answers. So this is also going to be Super a reveal secret. for both of us. Yeah, we're all going to be shook <gasps> after this, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait can I show them something? Uh, Rachel, we can try. I have to show no, 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 it's oh, wait, just like, like it's, physical it's physical. It's physical. Oh. It's Rachel's cousin um, from Down Under. This is, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's Kimberly the Koala. Kim the Koala Jack. Kimberly. <laughs> Kimberly from the so Outback cute. Steakhouse. <laughs> Isn't she? She's adorable. Apparently, they sell these for like $100 on um, eBay. What? That's what our server told us. Like, they're so oh. rare. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Well, dang, that's a pretty good gift. Did your server give it to you? It came with the drinky drink that I had. It came on top of it, like a little, like a little float. Oh, literally floating on the drink. <laughs> literally, it's literally, they just like plop them on the drink. That's incredible. Uh, Kimberly we love Kimberly. Slays, period. She's absolutely. <laughs> oh, okay. We should, okay. We should, we should do amazing. awards. Should hop in here? Okay. We're going to start, um, I guess, just from number one. That's yeah. silly, goofy, goofy, silly. So this could be okay. like a roller coaster or a moment from the trip. Just kind of anything that stuck out to us when we read that text. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to go first? You go, go first? you go first this time, and then we'll alternate who goes first. But you do this All one right, first. Sounds good. So I chose Winja's Force for this one. <gasps> That's a good one. That was so silly. Winch's voice was crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, Winch's was so like. crazy. Yeah, like, now I understand what it's like to be inside a tornado, I think. <laughs> Literally. Um, for my best silly, goofy, goofy, silly, I went a different route than you on this one because I did not pick a roller coaster. I picked the queue for the Legendia Dark Ride because there was, that was so unhinged. Do you remember, like, we had to oh go my, through... Oh, you're right. We, we had to, like... It was so silly. It went through... We were... First of all, we were not even looking for a ride. We wanted a little break from the rain and, like, wanted food. So we went into, like, this restaurant. And then, like, it kind of looked like there was a queue in the back. And we are like, there was, like, no sign for, like, a ride. And we just, like, wandered back there. And then there was a kid's play area. And then if you wandered beyond that, then you found this trackless dark ride. Like... Yeah, that was so. Like you just happened to explore, and it was like such like a like you're just walking through like kind of narrow hallways in with like restaurant chairs <laughs> scattered about, mixed in with like little coin operated like machines yeah. and games and things. Like it was picture very backwards. Um, like cafe meets Chuck E. Cheese meets arcade, but it's also it was a cue for a dark ride that they didn't advertise. And that was, kind of feels like Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> yes. Yes. And then we also were eating um, the peanut butter Cheetos at the time, which really sticks in my brain. Oh, yeah, the peanut butter Cheetos. Yeah, those are pretty good. Yeah. They were something. And then I made a horrible decision on the little ice cream dots. <gasps> the, the knockoff brand dipping dip dots that we had. Yeah. But I, not choose ice cream. I just hated the banana. They flavor. are better. The banana, the banana, banana was not the banana was not the moment. <laughs> The nose uh, one is better. I like the conversations about the the eye, eye, eye mouth eye or eye nose eye. <laughs> what team are you guys? Are you team eye mouth eye or team eye nose eye for emoji faces? <laughs> um, someone asked Silver Star or Hyperion, and I have the best answer for that. The first half of Hyperion and the second half of Silver Star. Oh, oh yes, combine them together, and it's a combine them together. Beautiful ride. Yeah. 
I absolutely agree. That was Rachel. Rachel asked that. <clears throat> Rachel. <laughs> From the abyss. All right. Mm-hmm. We'll go on to number two now. The best sleigh. Okay. I would go first for this one. And it's the shirt that I'm wearing. It was Karnan for me. Karnan, you guys was, that was crazy. The, if you guys like to watch the vlog and you should, if you didn't, like you don't even get to pick where you sit. Like, so you go through the queue, they put you in this like pre-show room and I'll try not to like spoil anything of the ride. I don't know. Can I spoil the ride? Should I spoil it? The, I could say, I could, you could do the row selection. Also, if you guys don't want to hear, if you're really like trying to stay blind, um, yeah, mute, just mute me until, cover, until, mute until the balloon. For like, yeah, until like thirty yeah. seconds. I'll, or something. I'll I'll give thumbs up when I'm done with the spoil the spoilage of Karnan. So you go into like this pre-show, and then like they tell you based on like a random selection of like what row you're going to get. So you are not you don't get to pick what row you are in, and it's like the coolest thing with like lights and music and sound and all this cool stuff. And then obviously, like most of you guys probably know, like. They, like, take you up a vertical lift, like, 200 feet in the air, and then you just, like, fall backwards, which is just, like, in, like, literally it's insane. It literally feels and sounds like the ride is breaking. And then, like, the whole rest of the ride is also just as good. Like, it's so fast and fun. Oh, I know. Karnan, she was, she was a sleigh. Karnan was a massive sleigh. Absolutely one of the best rides of the trip, for sure. Like, just trying to make this easier to read for everyone here. Um, And, dude, the, the reverse lift hill drop moment was so insane <laughs> crazy it's it's unhinged that hansa park is like just one of those parks where it was so hard to get to like we drove like four hours out of our way you guys just to get to the park but it was so worth it in my opinion and like i don't know i i loved uh loved uh, hansa park anyway I'll, that, that'll be the end of the spoiler so if you were waiting <laughs> Spoiler commence. Right. <laughs> Spoiler complete. All right, yeah, what was your best sleigh? For it. My best sleigh is also the shirt I'm wearing, the Smiler. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was my number two choice for it. Yeah, because, like, I just, I had to give Smiler an award because I love the Smiler so much, but it was, like, Ride to Happiness was, like, I got to not pick Ride to Happiness for something. <laughs> and yeah. I love the Smiler so much, I just... I can't talk about it enough. There's no way to to talk about it the correct amount. <laughs> the Smiler is one of those rides that I feel gets a lot of hate. Um, shockingly, like overseas, it, it got a lot of hate. But I feel like if you put the Smiler in a park in the United States, it would be a top tier coaster to people. Yeah. I'm also going to try to like record our answers here for people. Ooh, yeah. Uh, do that. What was your first one again? Um, the you for the Legendia Dark Red that I don't know the name. Of. Oh yeah, <laughs> you for Legendia Dark. Oh, wait, someone says they're writing the Smiler tomorrow. Who said uh, Josh is writing the Smiler? I'm so jealous. Does that mean you're going to go on oh, Nemesis Reborn we got- tomorrow? I'm jealous. We have a Smiler write up in the chat. Wait, a Smiler write up? Is that what you said? Door. They're running the Smiler, like. No, no, they're riding, riding, riding. Oh, riding it. Oh, <laughs> ride the smiley for me. Yeah. <laughs> ride it for me. Yeah, send me a picture of it. I love the smiler. Um, Same. Have fun. I, I'm jealous. I, I want to see uh, Nemesis Reborn. It looks... The station? Crazy. Oh the my eyeball? Gosh. Yeah. It's... Crazy. That'll be fun to get to ride Nemesis for the first time with the new theming. Okay. Next up is best cute and fun and fun and cute here i put down i put down rmf dragon at energy landia i love that that the green roller coaster like no one's not gonna no one's even gonna remember this one the green roller coaster that we like is the vacoma like suspended like the hanging (gasps) oh that 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 was fun that's it was amazing and we rode in the back and like the whip that you got off of the first drop was Amazing. So fun. Yeah. That's a good pick. Okay, good for you. Thanks. I forgot <laughs> it's called RMF Dragon. I didn't, like who I don't know who names put things in that park, but um I don't know what RMF means. Right, like, what does that even mean? <laughs> um my best cute and fun, fun and cute was I just put any Vacoma boomerang because I fell in love with like not the not the old boomerangs, the old like the new kid ones, like the one that King's Island is getting. 
I just fell in love with like the new age of Acoma stuff that's over there. And like, they are just, they're killing the game. And I loved the little boomerangs, all of them. Absolutely agreed. Also, I'm sorry, Coasters and Cosplays, Tim super chatted, but apparently it didn't come through. I was supposed to pop up. I mean, there might be a delay, but I don't know. Maybe there was an issue on YouTube's end. That's super unfortunate. Um, Mm. Crap. I don't know. I have an alert box set up. Um, I don't know why that didn't come through for you. Let me try making sure I drag this all. Oh, we would have heard a sound and stuff too. Like it would have gone off. Hmm. Well, hopefully they at least like refund you that or something. Yeah, sad. That's a big. That's big lame. All right. Well, Super lame. Oh, not a lame. Subscriber though. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. <clears throat> what are we doing now? We just did. That's cute and fun. Fun and cute. Did you give yours, Jeff? Sorry. Yeah, I said mine was the any um, the new Vacoma boomerang. Yes, new Vacoma boomerangs. That made me think of another Vacoma boomerang. Um, at Energy Land, which one we loved um, that we rode. It was that the last one we rode before we rode as Anubis and Zadra the last day. Uh, light speed, whatever. Yeah, light, that went out light. over the water. <laughs> Yeah, I okay, like that one goes. a lot. Okay. <clears throat> it finally came through on the chat on YouTube side, and hopefully it will come through on my little alert box here soon. There was just a big delay. Um, so, Coasters and Cosplays just asked, which park just barely missed a cutoff of what you guys were trying to do on the trip? Much love, Alex. Oh, thank you. That's okay. So, I think we may have had a couple of those. Yeah, I can talk about the... Um, the one that got replaced last. And then if you want to talk about the one that just didn't happen, um, because we were super sleepy. Um, the, oh, one yeah. <laughs> that, the one that we almost went to, you guys, so it's really interesting. Um, we were planning this trip like literally up until like a couple of weeks before we went and like just trying to make sure that we booked the best possible trip. And at the very last like couple weeks before we went is when we found the flights to Poland um, and we found them for like, what, like $20 or something like round trip. It was like, I don't know. It was something really ridiculously cheap. And like that to me was like our sign to go to Energy Landia. And if we didn't go to Energy Landia, we were actually going to be flying to Barcelona to do Port Aventura for two days. Um, so Port Aventura was the park that almost happened that didn't happen. But Energy, Energy Landia happened because Port Aventura did not happen pretty solid trade-off and like how rare is it to get to go to poland too like port of venture feels a little more accessible than like poland and there's also more to experience in spain so we're like oh we'll absolutely come back hit up port of venture next time um whereas poland was like oh my god energy landia zadra <laughs> iberian <laughs> not the thumbs down what's what's going on there get out of there <laughs> you, yeah you're like things are going crazy um but you yeah. can tell them like you can tell them the park that we we missed the park that we missed. Yes. Oh yes, the park we like yes. fully missed was. Um, wait, oh no, I just I just lost it. Justington World of Adventures. We were too sleepy yeah. that day. <laughs> we stayed in and and rested. Hey, fat. It was like... question. What's your question? Oh, oh, would you consider Zadra better than Steel Vengeance? No, no, not at all. There it is. We finally <laughs> got the super chat to show up. <laughs> it was so delayed. Thank you. That is so funny. That was the answer. (laughs) And thank you, Al, for Devo. Appreciate the 99 cents. Any super chats as well um, from the stream is actually going to both of us. We're splitting the revenue on the super chats. So anything you guys send in benefits both of us. And that helps allow both of us to continue doing more of these epic trips with you guys. Yeah, thank you guys. I um, had to buy a new GoPro on my last trip. Uh, (laughs) You'll see in some of the vlogs that are coming up in my new series. That was a silly moment which is a good time all right and our next one yeah very unfortunate sorry i didn't mean to like cut you off there no you're good <laughs> um we're gonna go on to number four which is best ride but actually it's we're gonna update this best flat ride we're gonna answer mm-hmm. here um this is your turn to go first 
Ooh, um, my favorite flat ride of the trip was Talikin at Fantasia Land. That thing was wild. Um, I usually don't like Alex knows. Like, I actually don't really love like upside down flat rides. It's not my not my jam. Talikin, we kind of like were like Jeff, you're gonna hate this, and I got off that thing, and I was like, that was the most incredible thing I've ever done in my entire life, and I need to do it again right now. Like, that was insane. Like, it was just wild. I saw a question come through too, if like asking what happened with the GoPro, but you guys will find out on Jeff's series. So don't forget to go check out his YouTube channel here. I've got it linked here so you can find it easily. Um, definitely give him a subscribe because he's going to have an epic hey. Australia series coming out over the next few weeks. Thanks guys. Yeah. Gold Coast and Oh, there, wait, there's a heart thing. I didn't know there was a heart thing. Oh. Oh, oh, I got my lasers to work earlier. Wow, that's fun. Yeah, they're Gold Coastin'. I just dropped the trailer yesterday. So uh, vlogs are coming out every Sunday and Thursday for Australia. It's a, We did a bunch of theme parks, and then we did a seven-night cruise. So very exciting. That'll be sick. And my answer, Telegram is amazing. Um, but I have to say, the little flippy flying rides that I did at um, Blackpool Pleasure mm. Beach and Toverland, those are my favorite. I just I just love flipping as hard as I can and feeling my body like about to get ripped apart from the G force. Uh. <laughs> I your Toverland one made me actually dizzy in my living room. That was impressive. <laughs> Watching it, <laughs> <laughs> I had to look away. Um, and I remember you yelling at me at the Blackpool one because I do not, as I mentioned, guys, I do not like to do the upside down thing on the flat ride. I take them as nice like observation rides, and Alex like would yell at me and be like, "Go upside down." I was like, "No." <laughs> Yeah, it was really funny. I was, I was taking the off-ride filming. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, you're supposed to go up there. And then out here, no. I'm like, no, come back. I actually had to. It was so windy. You guys, if you remember the Blackpool vlog, it was like literally like 40 mile an hour winds. So when we would get to the top of that ride, my like seat would like turn to try to go upside down because the wind and I would have to like go against it to make it to stay upright because I was getting scared. So <laughs> <laughs> not, those are not for me. Like not my finding favorite. the balance up there. And then after that, we have worst ride. Um, this is like worst flat ride, really, I think. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, worst flat ride. Oh, yeah. Worst flat ride. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's your turn. So for me, I put um, the drop tower at Legendia with the elevator simulator. Oh, oh the Energy Landia one. Yeah. Ener oh, did I say Legendia? Yeah, Energy Landia. Yeah. <laughs> she was silly. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. She did nothing. <laughs> I um I have a two part answer for this. The one the actual like worst ride that you guys it actually scared me was the Legendia Ferris wheel. I did not Ooh. enjoy that experience whatsoever. Yeah. Um she sounded like she was not going to that be operating for much longer. <laughs> that was not it stopped and the tires go <laughs> I have never actually looked for like a um, like a crossbar on a Ferris wheel to be like if I hook my sleeve over that, I could survive. <laughs> I could survive. And I was def <laughs> I was like definitely doing one of those. Um, but the one that I hated the most was the um, drop tower Highlander at Hansa Park because you guys know I don't like drop towers, and she was not the moment for me. I and she had full a on almost had a panic attack. Yeah, she, at the top. I hated her. I hated her. <laughs> I can't believe we didn't know about that. <laughs> not a fan. We'll not be doing that again. Oh, let me update one more thing here so people don't get like excited about one of these questions. Uh, the one roller coaster for each Taylor Swift album, we're like, that's a lot to think about. So we just decided on the most Taylor Swift roller coaster. Um, and that's, that's coming oh, yeah. up. So get ready. <laughs> the best theming now. Um, so I took this to me like roller coaster. Did you do parks or theming or like roller coasters? Oh, uh, I did park. I did I did a land. I did neither. <laughs> I oh, did a land in well, the park. That's cool. We can just go based off of that. Is it? Oh, is it my um, turn? I, um, yeah, it's your turn. I wait, did. Worst... Oh wait. What, what the worst ride was. Um, a combination between the Legendia Ferris wheel and the Highlander drop tower at Hansen Park. It was a tie. I couldn't. Oh, 
ones. Oh my god, there's like an Adventures with Alex du Oh, Adventures with Alex Stan. I see. Okay, I was like, there's a dupe in what? the in the chat. <laughs> we have a Stan account. Oh my god, where? Adventures with Alex Stan. It's just a, the word I'm a, Alex. I love, I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna pin that. <laughs> I love that. Alex. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. So Alex is fifty. Of course, Alex is fifty. Confirmed. Yes. I love that that was answered. That's amazing. Um, okay. We're back to best theming now. And it's your turn to go first okay. when you're doing lands. Okay. Mine was a land. I guess it's technically an attraction too. Mine was Rootberg at Fantasialand. That was, that was, uh, no words prepared me. I had seen pictures, videos, everything. I, I don't let anything be a surprise. I still walked in there and literally jaw dropped to the floor. I could not believe how immaculate that land and attraction were. And I'm so, so glad we did not go into Rootberg until we knew Fly was operating. Because I think like that was really like, that was a whole moment. Yes, I agree. Like literally Rootberg was, I was also thinking about lands when I encountered this question and Rootberg immediately came to mind number one. And I literally put Fly for my best themed ride. Like, yeah. So same, same, literally the same thing. Um, I did have some honorable mentions or like three of Ooh. them that I total so it's like Karnan and then Smiler <laughs> for like best theming like kind of experience yeah the Smiler has really really good theming for like an intense roller coaster like sometimes I think it's hard for like parks to theme a really intense roller coaster really well and I think they balance like thrill ride and theming perfectly I love the Smiler that's such a good way to describe it because it's like you're not like covered in theming, but the theming is there, and the theming is more of just like the idea and the feeling, and, and like and the, the whole soundtrack, the soundtrack. Yes. <gasps> yes. And it's like it like blasts on the midway all around it. Like you just feel totally like immersed when you're in in that area, and I I love that. Like there's just an intimidating energy emitting from that area, and that's the Smiler. Yeah. Spooky. Spooky pooky. All right, best park. Um, what did I put first? Oh, duh. I mean, I don't even have to look at it. It's Fanta I put Fantasia Land. Oh, interesting. That's a good choice, though. What'd you put? I'm curious to hear yours. I put for my best park was Efteling, and it was for a couple of reasons. So, if you guys didn't know, Europe was like the start of my vlogging life. Um, Alex and I had talked about me vlogging for like a year before we went on this trip and like, I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, and I almost just took a like documentary approach where I was just gonna like, kind of like not add commentary, but just take videos of the trip and like, just kind of put it all together. And then I remember when we were sitting on my couch, literally before we packed up my car to drive to Orlando, do you remember? I just like really pulled out my phone and I just started vlogging and you're like, are you doing it? And I was like, I think I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, I just started to vlog it. And then I was like, all right, I'm going to vlog like the first three parks in the UK, which was Alton Towers, Blackpool, and um, Thorpe. I was like, I'm going to do the three of them and see if I enjoy it and think that I can do it. And then like, I just kept doing it, which was really nice. But anyway, um, Efteling, if you guys didn't know, is the day that I put out my very first vlog ever on YouTube, which was our travel vlog from the States to the UK. Um, and I think like that will always be like a very like special moment, like sitting in the Python station, watching my vlog go live for the very first time was a very, very cool experience to happen at Efteling. And that park is already so magical and amazing. And yeah. This feels so pre-recorded. I promise it's not. We're literally doing this live in the moment. Otherwise, how would I know you're going to say that? Hmm? Wildcat's Revenge? Wait, what? sorry. I, I got, <laughs> you I spaced got out. Right <laughs> that question. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> uh, you were talking about vlogging and then Efteling and the super epic things. And what it? OK, sorry. <laughs> Um, I was talking about how we were in the Python station and we watched like my very first vlog ever go live and we like watched it together in the station and that was just like a, a moment like I don't think you could ever I don't think I could ever forget that because that was very special like very over the top moment for me. I love that. And then I remember um, we were on Python too. We were talking about just there was something mm -hmm. you posted your Python like POV or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think that was like my like second Python video. Station. That was when we watched, yeah, we were watching my travel vlog from the US too. That was like the very first vlog ever. That's right. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was very that was fun. Awesome. I had I had fifty subscribers, so that was like a my baby moment. I was born. My I was my vlogging career was born in the Python station. And I have to commend you super hardcore for literally like getting those vlogs out throughout the insane chaos. Noah, twenty dollars. Noah, that's crazy. <laughs> Girl. Thank you. That, okay, hang on. Sorry, we have to stop all thinking right now. <laughs> yeah, emergent. This is an emergency stop. Emergency. He <laughs> stop. You stop the ride. <laughs> Thank you both for being phenomenal content creators. Can't wait for more. What was your favorite food place slash item you got during the European vacation? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I have one. I I know I know what my answer is. Do you want me Do you want me to go first, Jeff? Yeah, you go first. It was the freaking bratwurst that I had at Fantasia Land. <laughs> You're so silly. Best, <laughs> that's the best bratwurst I've had in my entire life. I, I literally I ate one and I went up and immediately got another one. <laughs> that was so silly. Um, oh yeah, not the spring rolls. You said not the spring rolls. Oh my God, Charlotte, if you ever are watching this, girl, no, those are not the moment. Um, <laughs> I was, um, oh my God, you're so silly about the brat. You were so like into that bratwurst too. Um, and I, I still am. Okay. I haven't forgotten it. God, there are like some moments that really just stick out in the trip. And I remember you getting the bratwurst. And do you remember um, Padam Padam came on and like blasted yeah. at Fantasia Land? At, it was a vibe. That was crazy. Um, that was like peak life. <laughs> that was. That was peak. Experience. That like re energized my soul for the rest of the trip, honestly, was hearing that in the park. My. <laughs> Uh, my favorite meal or like food of the trip was we very spontaneously went to this like restaurant on the side of a road in Germany, like during the middle of a four hour drive. Um, we, it was called Katie's Cottage. And these people were so obsessed with the fact that we were traveling like throughout Europe, going to like theme parks. And like, we were just like, I don't know, it felt like a little like celebrity, like in the, in the restaurant. And they were just so nice to us. And like, they, we had like literally a home cooked German meal, like the whole shebang with dessert and coffee. It was just, I mean, it was a very expensive, it was the most expensive meal of the trip, uh, but it was yeah. amazing. Yeah. It was, it was incredible. Great. And the vibe of the, of the space was so cozy and comfy and warm. Oh. Like it was chilly and rainy outside. It was perfect after a long day. And what park did we come from from there? Haida Park? I, I, I think we were on the way from Haida to Movie Park. Germany? I think or so. Hansa to Heide yeah. Park, something along those, somewhere in that somewhere, area. Somewhere there during the German era. But yeah, Katie's Cottage, massive sleigh. Actually, I'm going to edit my answer to say that. I think I've written <laughs> that at one point. But yeah, but the Bratwurst <laughs> is still a shining star that Runner up. will never dull. Um, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> most intense. So we're also doing like most intense, like flat ride for that one too. Um, I like taking these and then thrown them into another thing and changed a few of the names um, before giving them over to Jeff too. So, all right. So most intense flat ride is your first this time. Oh, my turn. Okay. Yeah. It may not be like the most intense overall, but it was like the most intense moment for me was the very first time that we rode mystery castle at Fantasia land because we didn't know what to expect. Like we had no idea what was going to happen. And I just remember like thinking it was a drop tower. Like I thought it was just an indoor drop tower. And if you guys know anything about Mystery Castle, she is much more than that. She is bonkers. And I just remember the first time we shot up the tower and just like, I think I like grabbed your leg and I was like, what the expletive? Like, I was like, what are we on? Like, <laughs> like oh, no. just, what just happened? Like the craziest, like, cause I literally had no idea what to expect. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was one maybe the only moment where I felt real genuine fear for what we had just gotten on. <laughs> yes, a hundred percent. Yeah, like I remember looking over at you in the dark, and both of us just being like, "What's about to happen? <laughs> What's yep. happening next?" Like, I I was I was scared. I was straight up scared. Yeah, a hundred percent. I was actually terrified. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Castle, that's a really good answer. I put Talikin for mine. Because, like, fair, for like, sheer totally fair. Yeah. <laughs> like, on Talikin, that time when we got five flips, I, I felt like my eyelids, like, like <laughs> my. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Um, which are, it's so in good. the same park, which I think is crazy. Like, Fantasia Land's just 
that whole park is insane. Great. The rides are just intense. Everything, like every form of ride there, they have like the most intense form of it almost. Yeah, it was crazy. All right, scariest wasp moment. Mine Ooh. is also in Fantasia Land. <laughs> the Fantasia Land gumbo incident. Oh, um, oh, yeah, I okay, yeah, I remember The fly that. would not leave me alone. Not the, the fly, the wasp, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, sorry, somebody said that the stream stopped, but it's still on my, it's still going on my end. Oh, so, oh, it shoot. should be okay. okay. I'm glad you checked that. <laughs> yeah, I was just checking it. Looks like it's still going. <clears throat> good. So, California coast, and hopefully it's back up for you. Um, that was a good moment. My wasp moment was the Wallaby Holland one when we were like about to ride Untamed and we were having lunch. Um, they were pretty crazy. The wasps in Europe are just nuts, by the way. They are just, they're not scared. They just come right up to you. They don't care. They're like, yeah. And the wasps are so weird. We were so confused for the longest time. We were calling them bees because the wasps Mm. in Europe look like bees here. Like they're very similar. Should we pull up a comparison, like, to show everyone? <laughs> like, yeah, I think you have to. Bees? All right, bet. Okay, <clears throat> okay. European wasp. Because the wasps in the U.S. are extru- are very distinct. So, um, how do I, like, do this better? I- I'll drag, like, the display capture above us. Okay. So, this is the, like, I just searched European wasps. So this is pretty much what we saw. We're going to search for, like, USB. <laughs> so very similar. Wait, wait. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, unfortunately, bees don't look like the image on the right here. They look like the one on the left, uh, more mm-hmm. so. And then a US wasp. Oh, oh God. Oh, not imperialism. No, we need the insect. No, why are they so <laughs> What is was not expecting that. <laughs> this wait, wait. Why do these look like similar? I'm thinking of like red wasps or something. Wait, what? It's a USB wait, drive. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, did you see that? Yeah. It's back. <laughs> That's funny. Hang on. They look more like these. Are, I'm confused now. Wait, while you look red. that up, there's actually a very interesting question they in look, the chat. I'm gonna I was thinking answer more of these guys as wasp okay anyway we're back to let's pull us back um to the world someone asked a question of, like about planning which was why did we not go to disneyland paris um Ooh, that's a good question. and the answer for that is we actually really wanted to and it was on the itinerary to go to before we were talking about port aventura or ending at energy landia we were actually going to end at disneyland paris when we were going, the country of France was like in their peak turmoil of political situation that was just not a pleasant situation to be in. Um, And there were a lot of strikes happening at the Disney parks. Um, And so their entertainment was being cut pretty significantly and the park hours were actually shortened so that um, they would close before it got dark. And the three of us being like Alex, Josh, and myself, we kind of got together and we wanted, if we went to Disneyland Paris, we wanted like that full experience of being there from open to close with the fireworks and everything. And unfortunately we weren't going to get that. And we didn't want like our first Disneyland experience to be like a bunch of like cast members on strike and um, not feel as magical. So we ended up deciding to do either Port Aventura or Energy Landia instead. But we did want to go. It was just unfortunate timing with the, the situation in Paris. Yeah, that was a crazy time there. Um, we we're just like, okay, we'll we'll just we'll, we'll switch it up here. Yeah, but they are going through a lot of enhancements and like fixing up the park quite nicely. And I think like you know I'm excited to see that when that's finished. I would love to go, but one day. Yeah, one day. Um, I just like saw a question in the chat that stuck out to me too. Um, I think we might like answer it later though. Like, because what mo- what was the most underrated coaster in your opinion? Ooh, yeah, I think that's on the Should list. Should we do it now? Yeah. yeah, we can do it now. There's no rules. All right. my, my, yeah, there is no rules. Uh, mine, I would say Blue Fire. I feel like people, we, we heard some like negative reviews of Blue Fire and we got on Blue Fire and absolutely loved it. Blue Fire at Europa Park. 
that like the mosasaurus mosasaurus roll that's not a mosasaurus roll is so fun i love blue fire um i will agree with that actually i think that my most underrated one was blue fire as well um and we we literally got off of it and we're like what are these people talking about this is like a top tier coaster and i will confirm it is still amazing because i just went on steel taipan like two weeks ago and it was just as incredible which if you guys didn't know it's a blue fire clone what but it has a swing launch which was really interesting um it was a lot of fun but yeah it's still amazing uh, that and the spike fire is like a curly is... thing. Yeah, it's like it, it's like a like a spinny spike backwards. It was it was fun. Cool. Yeah, but that was sick. And we can do most girl boss coaster. Um, oh yeah, yours was Wallaby. Sorry, let me update this too. Wallaby, Holland. Um, mine most girl boss coaster. I had to put Ride to Happiness. Hmm. That's fair. I went and totally like I I was being silly in mine. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's at <laughs> it's at the same park. Um, I did the K three roller skater. <laughs> oh, no way! That's she was <laughs> she was girl boss. Um, with all the she little was like very girl boss. <laughs> yeah, I that I'm really excited to um to see what you chose for most girly pop coaster then. Um, someone just asked, person. when are we going to hit Australia for their theme parks? That'd be Ruben. I was just there two weeks ago, and the Gold Coast and Series, the trailer dropped, but the vlogs start on Sunday. So check out Cruising Coast. Yeah, go watch. Go to Jeff's channel, and you'll see some vlogs from the Aussie theme parks. I didn't get to go this time, but in the future, I will go eventually. Um, the next um, Australia trip, um, um, at this the trip to Australia. Just so you guys know, um, was planned before I even knew Alex. <clears throat> like we've been planning it for like three years. With his, we went with Josh's parents. <clears throat> so the next time we go to Australia, which we will definitely be going back, um, Alex will obviously come with us. Oh, absolutely! I cannot wait. Yeah. This year, I was like, mm, I don't have the dollars for that. <laughs> right now well, so that that flight is not that flight is not cheap <laughs> she's yeah that was crazy yeah i was like i had <clears throat> all my money from quitting my job um before i was sending it i was like we're gonna live our best life this year at minimum <laughs> um so all right we'll go to girly pop coast you now oh yeah it's you you got the first answer <laughs> I'm so silly. I went with um, Condor at Wallaby Holland Be <laughs> because <laughs> because it just like that moment was one of my favorite moments. You guys of the entire trip. I Alex so Alex went and took a little snoozy snooze in the car at one point, and Josh and I had did Condor, and you guys Condor is just it is not the moment. She Whoa. is. She is, she is on her last leg. And, but I had told Alex, I'm like, oh my gosh, you got like, uh, like this is such a smooth SLC. It's incredible. It's amazing. You're going to love it. Yeah, we all know and SLC. <laughs> we like went on the first drop and he was like, you lied to me. And we were just like literally chuckling. Like if you listen to the off-ride footage that Josh took of us, you cackling. can just, <laughs> I am cackling through that entire ride, and I just come off like literally crying because Alex is just like dying in pain, and it was just so painful. It was yeah, that was my girly pop coaster was Condor. She I looked beautiful, yeah, <laughs> beautiful colors. That's yeah, a lovely answer. What was your uh, so, girly pop coaster? The K three roller skater. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, twinsies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like girly pop I was like it's pink she's got cute colors <laughs> yeah yeah very girly pop and the, the yeah. trains were even like really fun on it like with the colors and, and everything they were oh my god random moment not associated with anything on here but you remember at Energylandia when Josh's lab bar popped up on the, on the kid uh, that was ins that was crazy that was I'm so glad I caught that on camera <laughs> same I would not, I don't know if I would have believed somebody, like, because you hear that all the time in the industry, like, oh, my laptop popped up, and you're like, okay. And no, but it actually did. <laughs> yeah, but it, like, literally did. And we have evidence. Yeah, and there was a video of it. Yeah. Um, all right. Big question coming up here. 
most <clears throat> Taylor Swift roller coaster? I feel like there's only one answer for this. And if you know, you know, it's 13 at Alton Towers, um, which is Taylor Swift's lucky number. And 13 is definitely giving folklore energy. Oh, 13 is. Okay, now how do they do it? Is it like this? Teen? Is that how you, is that how they spell it? Something like that. <laughs> um, that's a great answer. I did not know 13 is her lucky number. Um, so I'm not as, a, as an advanced of a Swiftie, but I chose Ride to Happiness. <laughs> that's fair. I could see that. That's like her chaotic era. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really like necessarily go with any music, except for maybe ready for it. Listen, her okay. Bom, so bom, 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 as you launch, <laughs> what I would say, "Ride to Happiness" is most like with Taylor Swift is how unhinged the track list of Red, el her album Red, is. If you guys are a Swifty and you've listened to Red, it literally goes from like the saddest song to like twenty two to like a love song to like I knew you were trouble, like. It's literally unhinged and chaotic, and it feels very much like Ride to Happiness. So I, mm. I could see that. If you guys didn't know, I was a really big Swifty, and I've been teaching Alex the lore over the last few months. And um, yeah, we're getting. He's been away. ushering me into the Swifty uh, culture. I don't know, not forcing it, <laughs> forcing yes. it upon you. <laughs> and I'm accepting it. I love. <clears throat> Oops. I don't know what's going on. Ty is going crazy. <laughs> yeah, Ty, you need to chill, bro. <laughs> <laughs> chill, Ty. Um, okay. We are, we have our Taylor Swift roller coasters. Best walk on moment. And I'm going first on that one. Again, Ride to Happiness. <laughs> we literally got to walk on on Ride to Happiness. I mean, that's not like, uncommon, you're right. But just the fact that we walked on to Ride to Happiness was amazing. Yeah, you're totally right. I I think that, that there's two answers then. I think we're going to both be right on this one. Do you remember at the last ride of the night at Fantasia Land day two and we walked on to fly? That was <gasps> that's my... right. Oh, I just <clears> thought about that too. We walked on to fly. That's that's honestly the answer. Because like Ride to Happiness like, doesn't get a line. Yeah, we got so, you guys, we got so lucky at Fantasia Land. The first day fly was closed yeah. and like the park was like, slammed busy and then the second day there was like it felt like 200 people in the entire park yeah <clears throat> like wednesday to thursday was night and day difference it was crazy it was insane um but yeah walking on to fly like literally they were sending out like half trains crazy yeah that was that was bonkers i'm i'm changing my answer to being fly as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair now we have the best back row blowout. And you're pretty Ooh. Uh, I want to change my answer now, but I feel like I can't answer Ride to Happiness. Like, okay, can Ride to Happiness just be like a default answer and we pick something else? Because that was uh, like yeah, that's what I the, mind. Uh, that is the, that was such a good back moment. Going oh my gosh. The backwards drop going backwards was by far, but I will say, okay, it's inconsistent because you don't always know if you're going to get it. But, um, so I put Untamed on mine, but Untamed was pretty good. One too. But I probably would change it to Ride of Happiness and all that I'm thinking about it. But Untamed was like a sleeper hit, in my opinion. I thought it was going to be kind of like a mid-RMC, but I, I loved it. Yeah, I feel you on that. Like, um, so R RTH and then you Ride of Happiness slash untamed untamed was epic i freaking loved untamed and like again that was that was a good sleeper hit too because it was like looking at it online it's it's not tall like the elements look fun but like mm -hmm. i don't know it's it's like the fun that twisted timbers gives you at king's dominion it's like whoa <laughs> this is awesome I, it's definitely better than twisted timbers at king's dominion that's for sure mm -hmm. um but yeah okay we are getting so many oops why, why is everyone oopsing? Do we need to put people in timeout? We can put people in timeout. Can we calm down? Mm -hmm. We can indeed. Do I need to just promote some people to moderators to handle this? Yes, guys, stop here. Okay, let me, there's someone in the chat here who's about to get mod powers. Where are you at? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are making Alec, dad Alex come out. Be nice yeah. to Alex. <laughs> oh, we got a super chat. What was the most painful? Okay, he said, 
They said they're going to stop, but we're we're watching you guys. Okay. Do it, do it yeah. again, and we'll turn this live stream around. You act right. <laughs> we'll turn this live stream around. <laughs> we'll turn this live we stream will around. Not be going to Pops Land today. <laughs> right. Manage um, select words, change chat modes, and live. Okay. We have a mod in the chat now, everyone. Ooh. Thank you, Washer Josh, by the way. Sorry. There was a lot we were managing there. Um, what was the most painful coaster? Well, that will also be answered by our like least favorite coasters, but let's go ahead and just answer it now um, since it was asked, especially through a super chat. Um, um, do you want to go first? I answered first on the last thing. I yeah, that's fine. I have, I have, I think it's gonna be two, I have two yeah. most painful coasters that I don't think I could like tell you which one was best or worst. <clears throat> Number one was Stupid Loop Guru. That's how I refer to it as stupid loop guru. And then when Josh lied to us and was like, it's so smooth in the front. And it was like, <laughs> just a lie. It was not smooth. And then um, Goodrix at Park Asterix. She was. Yep. Oh, Vic someone said Viking at Energy Land. Yeah, yeah that's Viking. like, okay. Viking oh, was a little, she is horrible, but at least like she's not fast. Like loop guru and Goodrix are like fast and painful at the same time. But I would, yeah, Viking's probably like a solid number three. Yeah, my answers are what would you say? As, as Jeff's. Yeah. Uh was Loop Guru and Gudrix. And like it's a hard pick between Loop Guru and Gudrix, but really like like Gudrix are I like actually like the the C where your head goes was hard. Like it was straight up metal. And it hurt my head. Like like when I literally say ow in those POVs as straight up freaking genuine pain <laughs> and so it's like it's kind of hard to pick but i feel like overall loop guru was more of a horrible experience <laughs> but i may have I agree. more pain on gudrix from those those bonk moments but i was able to ne negate them by like moving my head forward some so it wasn't the entire time but um um i agree i also got bruised yeah on the loop guru restraint like from the t-bar which like i don't feel like should happen um but i got like bruised on my inner like legs because of the way that like your legs jostle around and it was just not fun yeah and they also had like it was like a a square block of metal that was sharp and like i kept like poking in my legs <laughs> yeah it was just not not the moment and then we have all right so worst back row blowout that i'm gonna my answer for that was freaking Gudrix. Oh, mine was Loop Guru. Did it but... Loop Guru, yeah. I mean, like, same. Yeah, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah Loop Guru was just not. Like, pretty much just the same thing. <laughs> yeah, Loop Guru. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm trying to consider, I'm like, would I rather ride Loop Guru or Gudrix, though? I think that's... that's I would ride... Answer. I would ride Gudrix again. Um, because I think it had, like... Yeah. It had moments, but, like, the, I think where Gudrix really suffers is, like, the transitions are just so bad. And so, like, the transitions are, like, really, really terrible. Lukaru is just like a car crash the entire time. Like she's the not good. The entire time, you get like that one little like straight sec section is okay, but any turn is awful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, the most sleeper hit park here. Well, you can get this one, Jeff. Okay. Um. This was Wallaby Holland for me, and. I just didn't really have high expectations for it. I not that it looked like a bad park. Like, please, you guys, like, I we loved. I think every single park that we went to, and it's really hard to like say like which one was like great and not good. I thought the park was just going to be like okay. And even when we walked in, we had like a not great experience with some of like the GP that was there, and we were I think a little like cautious and worried about how our day was going to go there. And after we got off of the boomerang the whole day was incredible and i think we had such a good time there and untamed ended up being like one of our favorite coasters of the entire trip and lost gravity was also so much fun truly agreed um yeah getting into wallaby holland was a little sus it was like uh what's going on here um but then it just became incredible i was extremely tired that day though so i missed out on some of it but um my answer was actually Toverland. And like Wallaby Holland is also like, oh. yeah, Wallaby Holland is a great, great thing too. But Toverland, like going 
into it like i like i knew like i saw some like some cool like tiktoks from like theme park explorers or instagram reels i'm like oh it looks it looks really pretty but i just didn't i don't know it didn't stick out to me for some reason and while holland i was excited for untamed i didn't really know mm-hmm. anything about lost gravity <clears throat> at all um or and goliath was cool in my eyes so i was like okay i had like something to go off of there but like Toverland, I felt like I really had like so little to go off of and really just did not expect like anything from the park. And then I had an absolutely amazing time there. And it was so fun and so cute and so magical feeling that like I I loved it. Yeah, I agree. I um Dorbelwind ended up being like a big surprise too. Like Dorbelwind looks like it's a kid coaster. She was bonkers. She was crazy. She goes crazy. Dorbelwind <laughs> is wild. All right, our final little thing here is the worst iced coffee experience. And we have two more questions. And... Oh, wait, did you not do the last one? Oh, wait, what are we at? Oh, wait, sorry, I didn't move it over here. I'll move it. I'll move it. <laughs> uh, okay, it's, it's trying to copy all of it. Okay. One second. It's so small. Let's make this big. All right, there we go. Okay, so second to last question. Um, the worst iced coffee experience I put was Waldy Holland, um, because that was when we learned that just like Europe just does not have ice. Like we, we went to a bar where they make cocktails <laughs> and I was we're like, we're like, do you guys have coffee here? And we're like, they're like, yes. Yeah. So like, awesome. Like, surely we can like get like an iced coffee here. Like this is literally a bar. It's like also like a, a, a coffee bar as well. Like they, they had coffee in the name. I feel like I can't remember exactly, but Regardless, it was a freaking bar that served coffee, and I asked for iced coffee. I was like, can I get an iced coffee? And she just replied with, we don't have ice. I thought she was just saying we don't have iced coffee. I was like, okay, well, can I get, like, a hot coffee and, like, a cup of ice? And she res- responded, we don't have ice. And that's when it struck me, like, that you, you run a bar with cocktails, and, and you don't have ice? What do you, what do, you do like, it, on hot days what, or any time? Like how? Oh, <laughs> so we just had hot coffee there. Yeah, and it tasted awful. Um, Mark gave us a super chat, so thank you, oh, Mark, thank for you. that. He didn't put a question in there, so Mark, if you want to ask a question, feel free to do so. We'll try to answer it as quickly as we can. Um, but we love you too. So thank you, Mark. There it goes. Yay! Um. <laughs> yay. um that's a really solid iced coffee moment because I think that is like when we realize we're like, oh, we're we're in for a long couple of weeks without coffee. My <laughs> mine was the Europa Park one because I legit almost had that was I almost had a um I call them mental bees uh, a menti bee <laughs> I almost bees. had a menti bee <laughs> over the situation you guys. We ordered so we were at like this first of all. This was supposed to be hot girl summer in Europe for three weeks. And she was very much giving um, cold, rainy girl summer. Frigid, wet <laughs> girl. Yeah, it was soggy and sad. I just needed some iced coffee to like lift my spirits at Europa Park. And like, we finally saw like a sign that was like Frappuccino and I was, or Frappe. And I was like, oh my God, the, the Lords are gracing me with a Frappuccino. I'm so excited. And we so order it. Um, literally, I put up like a, um, like a thing on Instagram and I was like, I'm getting iced coffee. And literally we were handed a vanilla milkshake. I have never been so infuriated in my life. It wasn't even like um, a milkshake though. It was like icy. It was like, like, like icy a, tapioca icy, is what it tasted like. flavored icy thing. And it was disgusting. Mm. It was not, and Alex ended up buying a, um, like an espresso shot to put in it, which made it tolerable, but like, I like I was almost having a breakdown at that moment. That was that was a rough day for me. <laughs> I drank like um, most of mine too, and I felt horrible. It did not. It, yeah. was, it felt awful. In my stomach. It felt. What was surprising? It felt very like synthetic, and like I feel like everything we ate outside of like that was much more like enriching and felt much more like natural and like good for mm-hmm. us, like food in Europe versus any food you get in the U.S. <laughs> um, but this thing. But did they just like melt down candle wax and plastic and mm-hmm. call it and dairy. a frappuccino? <laughs> and it's not even actually a frappuccino. It's just yeah. whatever the thing it is. It doesn't come with coffee. <laughs> yeah. I'll just check your DMs. Uh, Guys, I'm managing so much right now. Just ask in the chat. Unless it's like, are you sending me inappropriate questions? What's happening? Oh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> that's not, that's not, the, it's not, 
it's not that kind of live stream. Um, yeah. Mark, <laughs> who, everyone, remember. Mark, who did a super chat, put a question in, and he said, um, when we do Europe, Euro, wow, European Slaycation 2, what coaster are you most looking forward to that you missed out on the first time? My, we actually didn't end up missing a lot. And um, I think the top, like the top two coasters that we did miss that I'm really looking forward to is like, of course, like Nemesis Reborn. Um, I cannot believe how many people told us to cancel our entire like trip because Nemesis was going to be closed. You guys, it was so funny. And then also the big one for me has always been a coaster that like I grew up like seeing in like textbooks and like, you guys gotta ask Alex. Like I literally talk about the big one. I was so obnoxious about this. Like I was literally so annoying. Where I was like, the big one, the big one, the big one. I bought a big one hoodie before I even went into the like at the gift shop that was outside because I was so excited to ride the big one, and then it never opened. I was gutted. It was so oh. sad. Big one was a sad loss. What was the first one you said? Nemesis Reborn. Since we missed oh, yeah, Nemesis. Nemesis, yeah, Nemesis, um, big one for sure. And then I also had. Um, swarm and colossus i really wanted to ride colossus because like mm. when that came out i was obsessed with it I, I thought it was so cool and the barrel rolls at the end were so ridiculous and looked so much fun like as a teen in high school like i don't i can't tell you the number of times i watched the pov of that ride mm -hmm. <laughs> like it hundreds um because i just and the barrel walls like crazy. they look crazy at the end yeah like at the end you just like go around and around and around and around like that mm -hmm. seems yeah because i'm like I would build roller coasters like that, which is barrels on like roller coaster tycoon, and I wanted to experience it so bad. And then she was she was down, <laughs> she was close. Yeah, yeah. but it's next, okay. Next time uh, for everything we got to do, incredible. I just can't wait to totally. go back and and do that next time. And Hyperia is going to be there, which looks oh yeah, Hyperia. You got if you're in the UK, this is your year. Like you, it is your year in the UK, um, and we we fully moment. admit that. Yeah, this is 2024 is, is like 1994 all over again for the UK. I feel like 1994 was like a pretty like iconic year for the UK. I think that was like Nemesis, right? And big, big one, maybe. That's I don't know exactly. I think that's. I'm gonna fact. I'm fact tracking myself exactly right is. now. <laughs> I don't like to spread rumors, also, you guys. <laughs> spread rumors. It was 94. Oh, nice. Good job. I want to give a quick shout out and major slay thank you to Noah here for handling the chat. I just think threw moderator powers on you and you're doing great. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Noah. Uh, yeah, like 2024 is like 94 all over again for the UK. They're having an iconic moment. And Hyperia, I think, is going to go down as one of the best coasters. So that drop looks oh bonkers. Like I just I just did um, DC Rivals like, coaster Overbank and like swoop thing. Ugh. Yeah, th that overbank looks illegal. Um. <laughs> yes. Uh, I can't wait I'm to ride that. I I want to feel it so bad. Um. Let's let's get down to our final <coughs> moment here. The best bathroom moment. Um. Did you go first on this one? Yeah. No. No. You go first on this one. I went first. Okay. On this one. <laughs> My favorite bathroom of the entire trip was in Fantasia Land, where right in front of the like, swings. I don't know what that area is called, but it had it was the black and white bathroom, and it was so nice and it was so clean. You guys, we were like literally like would be in other areas of the park, and we would go back to this bathroom because of how nice it was. It was my favorite one. Yep, and same. <laughs> uh, and how you got to utilize bath that bathroom in both ways. I also did too. The stall experience. <laughs> Incredible, though I do have to say, oh my god, Conda Footprints. Somebody said it in the chat. I see it mm. triggered. What a good detail. <laughs> Such a nice touch. <laughs> um, there's an honorable mention for Best Bathroom too, though. Very, oh, which one? Very, like, it was a hard choice for me. And that was Wallaby Holland's Rave Bathroom, where you just press the un oh. unlabeled button, the unlabeled mm -hmm. button, and the, the lights go and the music goes. It was so funny. Yeah, no, the rave was unhinged. Like, and when you're like sitting on the toilet in there, um, and that just goes off for the first time, and you don't expect it. I wish that could have happened to me. I that wish was that would have happened to me. Crazy. <laughs> Call the footprints. Wait, hang on. We need. Oh, jeez, it's gonna be difficult to get to. Oh, hang on. What All right, so that's done now. Um, we have our 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 your faves for roller coasters least favorites sleeper hit coasters um there's something i want to switch out the image on the stream here but it's gonna take me a few minutes 
<laughs> Jeff, uh, answer questions. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, what do you guys want to know? Answer, ask me questions in the chat. Um, someone said, are you going to Knott's Berry Farm soon? I was just there on Sunday. Um, had a great time and got on Accelerator for the very first time after going for 10 years, which was amazing. Um, the best Intamin in Europe. Ooh. Top of my head, I would say Hyperion, but only on day two. Day one, Hyperion sucked. Day two, Hyperion was elite. Oh, but like two Tatas mm -hmm. also was there. Yeah. Two Tatas. Two Tatas, probably. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> if you are planning your next trip to Europe, you must go to Hasseland in Poland. It's currently under construction, but will be opening soon. Oh, oh, cool. Per cool. We might do that. Energylandia was a lot of fun. I'd love to go back. <clears throat> yeah, same. What was the worst part of the slip? The, what am I saying? What was the worst part of the trip? Lack <laughs> of sleep for the driver. You know, I, I actually didn't really struggle that much. Um, with like the lack of sleep um, on the trip, the worst part of it, I think was the weather for me, to be really honest with you guys. I really love, I love summer. It's like my favorite season. And like, I was actually getting very frustrated with the weather and I did a let it, I, I let it affect my mood some days, which I wish I wouldn't have because all the days ended up being amazing. But like, I don't know when you're going on a big trip like this and you want to ride everything and you want to do everything in the park and you are going to the park and it's literally pouring rain and 45 degrees outside. It's so frustrating. In July. Um, but <laughs> in July. And I'm like, literally, why am I like, I had to buy sweatshirts and pants and like, it was just like, not the most. I did not pack for this at all. I did not pack for the weather that we had. Um, how many coaster credits do you got? Oh, I think it's 493. I'm really close to 500, but I think Accelerator was 493 for me. Yay. Most silly, goofy roller coaster name. That was um, at Legendia. They have like a wild mouse clone. That... Oh. Oh my God. What? Where did you go? Show on screen. Oops. Um, no, you left me. I don't know what you did. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Did you I, I have corrected the stream now. The stream is fixed. Um, we have a, the correct image now. I'm in the back. Top right corner. <laughs> Everyone's like, no, Jeff, come back. <laughs> I'm back. I was like, peace. Uh, um, Mark, <laughs> Mark wanted to know if I would pay him $50 if he rode Falcon's Fury. And I would say, yes, I would pay you $50 if you're a Falcon's Fury with me. It's I would Mark do it for Jeff. you, Mark. Yeah, Mark, I see you. Yeah, he was. Yeah, so, like fifty dollars. <laughs> what if he just? What you if he likes Falcon's Fury? Just, <laughs> just... <laughs> then he's a scam. Then he knows how to make money. He's an entrepreneur. Yeah. Uh, okay, Damn. we he's, already. Know he's girl bossing. He is girl bossing. I don't know how we'll like. Am... Oh, I guess we can. Hmm. I guess I could just make a bunch of lines here. It might look a little chaotic, but it, but. What else is new? What else we'll is new? Put, like a bunch of numbers. And then I'll answer our answers here. Okay. Oh, I see. What you're saying. Jeff, how many did you get to <laughs> for your rankings? I got to five. I got my top five and my bottom four. All right. Well, we can go through the top five and then I can just run through. Because I went all the way to 17. <laughs> we, can, we can just run through the rest of Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then move on to the next section. Okay. Okay. Go. Uh, let's start with, I guess, number five. And we'll work our way up. Yeah. And this is the way we're doing best first, right? Correct. Okay. Our faves, the besties. Uh, okay. I'll label that appropriately. Besties. <laughs> okay. Me, you. Me, Wait, you. You go. You go. Okay. <laughs> I put Hyperion for number five. Ooh, scandal! I didn't because it was inconsistent. <laughs> I like yeah, I, I like consistency. Day two. Yeah, I need consistency in a relationship. And Hyperion did not provide that for me. That's fair. I absolutely hated Hyperion the first day. It rattled my teeth. Like she was abusive. Yeah. <laughs> No, I did not like her. Sorry, I just remembered a coaster, so I'm actually changing my list. <laughs> Literally right now. In front of me. That's That's how we roll. 
<laughs> wait, can, wait, wait, can we do top six then doing... instead? <laughs> oh, I, yeah. Now I have six. But, okay. Well, okay. You can do your six, and I'll then I'll. Yeah, I, you do your six, and then I'll go, and then you do your five. <laughs> the chaos. Okay, so number six for me was Let Coaster at Legendia. Oh yeah, Let Coaster. Wait. That was almost worth paying forty five dollars to ride three rides. <laughs> almost worth, yeah. Dude, Light Coaster was so fun. I honestly, I just realized I also didn't put it in my like top listings here. Um, I put it elsewhere, but. I want to try to squeeze it in somewhere now. Hang on, let me do, do it. There are there are no rules. In a moment, though. Yes. Honestly, okay, I got it. It ended up being number okay. eight. So okay, okay, okay. I'll what was your number six? Down here for me. My number six is Terran. Oh, good, good choice. Terran was Terran was amazing. Terran was a major slay. And then we'll do your five. Um, number five for me was Karnan. Karnan, let's go, Karnan. That's oh wait, we need the four just went small. Okay, Karnan, and then four. My four was Puta Tis. Oh, that's a good one. Let go straight. Okay. My number four. Wait, are you ready for my number four? Yeah, yeah, ready. Go for it. Okay. Um, number four for me was Untamed. Untamed. Very nice. Oh. Untamed is on my list as well. Just a little lower. <laughs> Yeah, Untamed was so freaking fun, though. Um, it was fun. No, the formatting. Okay, well, three's just going to be really small. <laughs> She's being so silly. Three, I had the Smiler. Oh, I did not put that in my top six. Um, My number four, no, number three was, wait, what number? Are we on number three? Yeah, number three. Oh, okay, uh, was two tabs for me. Which nice. I, I said wrong in the entire vlog, you guys. I really thought it was two tatis the entire day, and I did not know until I put out my vlog that it's not two tatis. It's two yes. tatas. Wait, so is it two? Wait, two? Oh, wait, what California Coastin said? Two tatas? Yeah, it's like two tatas. Oh. And I called it two tatis, two tatis. the entire vlog. Okay. The entire, un- unironically called it two tatis the entire vlog. <laughs> Same. I just thought that's how it was pronounced. <laughs> Same. I, don't know. I really struggled. I, thought... I struggled to even get to that pronunciation, which was unfortunately incorrect, apparently. <laughs> um, someone said, is Two Tatas better than Velocicoaster? For me, it wasn't. Mm. Um, and the reason is, is I'm obsessed with Jurassic Park. So, like, the theming of Dr- Velocicoaster for me, like, gives it that, like, plus one. <laughs> that's a really good question. Um... That spike is a super fun addition, but I don't think it beats Velocicoaster. Yeah, um, not for me. Velocicoaster is too epic. The top hat on Velocicoaster is bonkers too. Like, just it's so fun. Back row. Oh, the reverse so freaking airtime though on. I, I two tatas two tatas two two tatas two tatas uh, slaves two. so hard. Yeah. Wait, is it, it does. two tatas? Toot at us like toot at us toot toot at it like far at us. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like fart at us. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I liked fart at us a lot. <laughs> honestly, yeah. honestly, I should think about it a little further. I'd probably switch for ride. If we're going ride experience, and I would say two tatas. Um, over Wait, Smiler. but Smiler just holds a much better, oh. a bigger place in my heart. Wait, someone in the chat said it's two tatis. What? Two tatis. Oh, Stan is leaving. Hey, Jeez. Stan, stop harassing Alex. Oh, thanks, thanks, Christopher. Um, for Maybe match. they're saying this. <laughs> anyway, anyway, two tattoos, two tattoos, whatever you want. You can call it whatever you want. Um, My Adventures Alex, Stan, are you leaving? I, sorry, it's hard to build a chat. <laughs> There's a lot going on in the chat. There is. 
Guys, there's no drama allowed tonight. There's no... This is Drama Free Friday. Drama's illegal. We're just ha- yeah. Here. We're just vibing and having fun. <laughs> We're just talking about roller coasters. There's no drama. No drama yeah, here, man. That's right. No, you tell him. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, are we going to number two now? Let's go number two. Yeah. I don't have to go number two. Let's oh, go. I'm the list. Go number two. Uh, <laughs> all right. My number two is hopefully it won't make it small. Dang it. Uh, Your list is so silly Karn, looking. I'm a Karnan for my number two. Oh, scandal. Okay. I'm into that. Scandal. Because <laughs> I was so blown away by that ride. It was, it was pretty wild. I did fly for my number two. Oh, that's a good number two. Except when you have to go pee pee because that harness she is aggressive on your bladder. Um, so really if you guys is. are going to Fantasia Land, go pee pee before you ride fly because that was painful. Yeah, really try to empty the bladder before that ride. Yeah, otherwise you'll be in a world of pain. <clears throat> okay, number three just keeps disappearing. There. All right. <laughs> this Apple formatting is not helping me. Um, number. Who when? I have to go with um, Condor. The uh, I can't remember the name of it. Dang it, Drock or whatever. Um, it's a little kitty coaster next to Zaja that we almost caused a valley. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's right to happiness. The Dodge. Mine. Mine was Viking at Energylandia. Uh, was Viking. my number one. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was also Ride to Happiness. I I still cannot believe that like how hyped Ride to Happiness was for me, and like people were like saying it was gonna be my number one, and like I was just so like, there's no way that it's going to be as good as people say it is because it was just so overhyped, well, so hyped, and then it like still blew me away when we wrote it. Like I just like for a coaster to do that is just like. And now they might be putting in another one at Holiday Park. Did you see that? That yeah, might happen. I like, I was about it. I was like, "Oh my god!" It was Draken. Yeah, I think that was the name of the little kitty coaster. Someone said. So, um, but yeah, y- Europe two point We'll have to go to Holiday because we did not get there on this trip, and I would love to go there. And if they're gonna put in, that has to be on the list. I would also love like Tivoli Gardens or something too. Oh, I would love Tivoli to go to Tivoli. Oh, yes. Yeah. I would love to do like the Sweden, Denmark parks for sure. Yes. Agreed as well. Kalmarden for Wildfire. Oh, yes. And like yeah. Liseberg for Helix. Taiga? Wait, where's Taiga? Taiga's Sweden too. Right? Taiga's in. De- no, she's in Finland. Oh, Finland. Okay. Helsinki. But yeah. But we can get to oh, it. Helsinki. We can make it happen. Helsinki, Finland. Yeah. One day. For sure. We'll get there. And then I'll just go back to the rest of mine over here. Seven. Um, well, I guess I could move this over here. I just don't want to accidentally spoil because I have everything else. Oh, let me take a screenshot. Okay. There you go. All right. Let me. I got to input some numbers here since it doesn't automatically update for my row number. So, okay. I'll just create, make this a <laughs> screenshot and then. Ruben said, what's the worst food you tried? For me, it's going to be the spring rolls at Fantasia Land. <laughs> the spring rolls. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. There was uh, like, just zero flavor. Nothing. Not even the okay. sauce. Like, sometimes, like, you know, the sauce can be redeeming. It had not nothing. even. No, the sauce did not help either. It was just didn't add anything. So let me slide these up. I'll do it kind of sneakily. So my number seven was Fly. I'm going to answer that one. I had Terran and Fly there for six and seven. And eight, Light Coaster. Nine, Untamed. Oh, my mouse is messing up. Um, under. I can't track. Okay. Then I had Abyssus and then Zadra. And then Euromir. Ooh. Loved Euromir so much. Literally just the soundtrack. It's so fun. Euromir is a mega vibe. I gave it a little award over here best vibe that's the only one that, <laughs> that i had really time to think about and that's just what i thought of and then osiris i loved osiris thought osiris was freaking epic um silver star and black mamba uh blue fire phoenix conda for the footprints of course <laughs> oh your conda was so conda was underwhelming in the morning but by the time we like wrote it in the afternoon it became really really good 
and Abyssus was really good. Um, yeah, Abyssus above Zadra. I just had like the <clears throat> wrong expectations for Zadra, and like riding it, I just entered the break run like, uh, wait, who's telling Noah to shut up? Um, he's in timeout now. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, somebody's dancing with danger right there. That person might even get a ban hammer potentially. Um, all right. <clears throat> What was I going to say? Shoot. I lost the train of thought. We were, we were talking, talking about, about Zadra. Versus Zadra. And with Zadra, it was just like, uh, I just wanted it to be so much more. Um, coming off of like writing Iron Gwazi, especially. Iron Gwazi and Steel Vengeance and Harry Force One. Literally all in the same year. <laughs> 2023. Um, and... I was expecting it to be like that just kind of mental rebalancing that I get in the break run of all of those coasters. I just didn't happen to me at Zadra. And like in comparison, Zadra to Iron Gwazi, like Zadra feels like a family coaster compared to Iron Gwazi. Yeah, I that's, agree. Yeah, I, that's why Zadra, I, Zadra I was like, eh, <clears throat> a little underwhelming for me. Yeah, I agree. I, I know someone Which in the chat just put like, um, Someone just put uh, un untamed. Yeah, no, totally. Like, that's the thing. Is like it's still like a top tier coaster, but like I preferred Untamed over it, um, Iron Gwazi over it, um, and Steel Vengeance over it. But I yeah, had very similar like thoughts about Sandra. I don't even like Steel Vengeance that much, to be honest. Yeah, I don't like. Yeah, I don't like the ending. Uh, it bruises my thighs. And it's not for me. Um. But yeah, I I don't know Zadra was it was good. It was fine. Doesn't mean we hate it, you guys. It just means it wasn't our favorite. Yeah, doesn't mean we hate it. It just was like, oh, I wanted to. I was expect. I like love about the POVs. Like when it was built, it was so cool. Zodra's the Millennium Force of RMC. Yes, totally. Very well said, Josh. Shout out Josh in the chat. <laughs> um, totally. Um. All right. Sweet. So we did that. We can go on to our least favorites. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> besties we're gonna go into worsties now worsties which is the worsties award which is not bratwursts <laughs> the spring rolls the spring roll <laughs> spring roll awards spring roll. Spring roll awards. <laughs> okay so i'm gonna start with five and we'll go down and like number one is gonna be our worst okay our most hated. i'm ready <laughs> go for it ready You start this one. No, you start this one. Oh, okay. I'll start this one. Number five, I have Bandit. Mm hmm. I thought it was my number five, was Bandit. Whoa, nice. <laughs> yeah. Which, there's like, um, I saw in the Coaster Studios video that they're going to be doing some like steel work on it, which like could mean like either like the GCI Titan track or potentially RMC. So. She needs it. That's yeah, that'd be sure. exciting. Because, I mean, it's got, like, a pretty cool-looking layout. It would be fun if it wasn't just, like, insanely funky all the time. But still, it was, like, yeah. out of everything else we've already talked about, I was, like, hmm, I would ride Bandit more than I would ride the other rides we're about to say. <laughs> yeah. Bandit wasn't at least, like, painful, painful. It was just, like, silly. It was just... Yeah. John. It was just, It was just silly. It was goofy. Yeah. All right. Your turn for number four. <clears throat> um, Crazy Mine at um, <clears throat> Hansa Park. She, okay, and this is like probably a unique situation, you guys. Um, I'm six foot five. So sometimes my knees get stuck on like the front part of a car and like Crazy Mine didn't want to let me go. And I also got like bruised <laughs> knees because um, oh, ow. up there. <laughs> so Crazy Mine at Hansa Park was not for me. I did not like her. Just too crazy. Oh, crazy mine. What was it? Was that the long train? She was like the wild. No, she was like. No, she was the wild mouse. Um, oh, that I was like the wild mouse. She was the layout was amazing because like I don't think it if I remember correctly it like didn't really trim, but that was the problem is like I was also like up against the steel of the car on those turds as it wasn't trimmed. So pen yeah. <laughs> like in pain. Oh god, that sounds awful. I love dang. I loved it because I I fit just enough in there and it yeah. was fast we were ripping through it the airtime was good like actually got airtime um so my number four here is condor fair fair 
I love to. I loved our ride on it though. But at that, um, I did too. On number for the experience, the experience was great. The roller coaster itself, <laughs> no, but the experience was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, number three for me was Condor, <laughs> so very close. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Condor there, and then I had three, four, Gudrix. Actually, put that's actually kind of wild that I put that there. That's hang on, I'm gonna make a quick. Well, this is gonna spoil my number two. We'll just say I answered two. <laughs> yeah, Gudrix is number two. Yeah, wait, that was my number two. <laughs> wait, what? Gudrix is my number two, too. Oh, okay, nice. Well, we'll go ahead and just put that there. <laughs> and then I will say what my number three is. My number three is Viking. Yeah, I wish I would have thought about Viking before I made this list. I try to forget that it happened. Yeah. I just, the word, the arm, the arm was so stuck. I'm like, eh. <laughs> my sunglasses fell down behind my head like this. And, oh, shoot, my AirPods falling out. And then I was just trying, like, trying to keep them from, like, breaking or falling out of the ride. Um, and then number one, the worst ride. I think we both know what this one's going to be. <laughs> it is definitely the same one, I'm sure, but. Three, two, one. Loop Guru. Loop Guru. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Loop Guru sucks. So stupid, stupid Loop Guru. <laughs> stupid, horrible. <laughs> The only thing Viking was giving are bruises. <laughs> Literally so true. <laughs> That's perfect. Boba Fett. <laughs> Boba <laughs> Fett. Um, <laughs> SDF Visa Group is giving, but not Viking roller coaster. <gasps> true. Wait, wait. someone just said Loop Guru is an amazing coaster, and number two at Wallaby. And I'm riding it number two at Wallaby for sure. Wait, Loop Guru is not at Wallaby. Yeah, it That's is. Happening. Isn't it? It's at Wallaby Belgium. Loop Guru. Oh, I thought it was, I got <laughs> like, I, my brain literally replaced the word Loop Guru with Gudrix. So that's what happened. <laughs> wow, that is not here for the Loop Guru slander. I love that Ooh. for you and your journey. Yeah, not here no for Loop, Loop Guru slander. <laughs> Sorry, we are. What's going on in the chat? Somebody. <laughs> yeah, for real, the chat is going crazy here. Somebody's Jeez. getting. Piggy, yeah, is getting a little too She's get... stupid. <laughs> yeah, hundred uh, percent. We're just gonna report. That I thing. can't. I can't because the little stupid heart is over mine. So you have to do it. Graphic violence. So we got that one. <laughs> Ooh, would you rather have the spring rolls or ride? <laughs> would you rather have the spring rolls? Get out of here. Would you rather have the? Would you rather have the spring rolls or ride Condor? I would rather, if I had to pick the option, I would rather eat the spring rolls while riding Condor. <laughs> Combine them. They do a, okay, this is so unhinged, but I saw in a video in the summertime, they do like eating contests on Condor, like cotton candy eating contests or something. That's like, so fun. Right. Like, well... <laughs> I have to make it. here for a ban. Yes, you saw first the first live ban. <laughs> on an we were live so, stream. so much drama in in a live yeah. stream tonight. What is going I on? I felt like guys? everything was. I, maybe everyone's just getting tired. We've been streaming for a while. They're getting sleepy. <laughs> They're getting grumpy. Yeah. Getting grumpy out here. Okay, we'll get to the sleeper hit coaster so we don't so we don't cause like an incident. <laughs> Like girlies, it's just um, roller coasters. Amen, Noah, to that. Yeah, what's happening here? Get a snack. <laughs> yeah. I can go yeah. Really have care. you guys drink your? Have you guys drink your water? Maybe you just need to drink a little water. Yeah. Drink your water. Drink my Pokemon images too. <laughs> I love the butterfree one. Do you like the ASMR? <laughs> Butter break. That was a that was offensive. <laughs> that was offensive. Sorry, I will apologize for that one, everyone. <laughs> We're gonna ban you. Okay. How should we do the sleeper hits? 
Just like um, I forgot to do that. <laughs> oh well, I'll just show mine then. My sleeper hits. Yeah, do yours. In the order that we experienced them was Spinball Wizard. Like looking at that, like it looked fun. Oh, it was like epic. Yes. Yeah. Sp- yeah. Spinball. Untie. Un. Wait, hang on. We got a crazy question in the chat. Untamed or pipeline coaster? Pipeline. 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 Hundred percent. What? No, untamed. <laughs> You're wrong with that. <laughs> the house divided. <laughs> <laughs> no. no pipeline for me is, I, just, I love pipeline it's so unique what was the worst restraints viking easy no question viking yeah worst restraints it's viking. like it, it was like they literally like zippered your hands down and you could not move them and then also <laughs> yeah, threw like you in a car tight. crash <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's also spinning the entire time yeah when just force over fear I agree when just force goes crazy I literally could not um, tell you which one was which. If I for a million dollars, I couldn't tell you the what first was one which. we read. Oh, <laughs> still couldn't tell you. <laughs> I could do it. Also, Colorado Adventure was whoa. in the back seat. A wild Crazy. Ride. I did not expect that at all. Dwarf Wind, of course. Like the spinning coasters in Europe, don't play around. They don't play. <laughs> yeah, and then Anubis. Wait, Anubis. That's it. Abyssus, Clubsland. I think is what you mean. Oh, oh Anubis at Clubsland. Yeah, yeah duh. That one I was really good. Abyssus. <laughs> oh. Abyssus to be. <laughs> but Anubis yeah, was people, really fun. People, like, hate on Abyssus, and they were like, oh, it's a family coaster. And, like, listen, it's, like, family thrill. But I got, like, some really good airtime, really good force on it. It was smooth, it was fun, enjoyable, it's long. I think it was fantastic. I loved Abyssus. Agreed. Agreed. Like, I remember just that even little baby launch. Oh, no, we lost Jeff. Jeff, come back. Where did you go? Uh. No, we totally wrote. We totally wrote. I hear you. I don't see you though. I think your connection may have dropped. Oh, let me let me show you. That's show on stream. There so silly. That's um, so silly. No, we totally wrote force first. Didn't we? No, we did write fear. We did. Sorry, fear was the drops with the big with the drops and the airtime. Um. That was the airtime was super fun, but force was mega goofy um let's wait we gotta switch adventures alex stand left we gotta switch the pin the pin message um one second i see one i see one that i like uh wait why can't i pin this oh i guess i have to pin this one first <laughs> why why needs a water break that's some did you find goofy you? functionality wait someone, someone said did you find yourself what's wait, happening there Rachel has not been found. Unless you know something That's I don't. That's a lie. They're starting rumors. There we go. Look at the um, Anaconda footprints is now the pin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Anubis Pulsar was also exciting. Um, I, was Ooh, more yeah. exciting. I mean, it looks exciting, but then it was like, okay, that was actually really sick. Um, and like, your, um, your reaction to the pulsar wave is one of my favorite moments to watch in my footage um because you literally are so shocked by the size of the wave and it was like the cutest thing ever (laughs) that's true i was extremely shocked by the wave like it's like so silent like watching the ride and then all of a sudden you just hear like the loudest gasp that has ever been gasped (laughs) come out of alex's mouth (laughs) that's a really good point it was so fun Oh, it was so fun. All right. Well, we've kind of wrapped up that now. Um, Jeff, would you like to take over for kind of like trip planning discussion and whatnot? And we will also yeah. be giving you guys an option to actually get our exact European location itinerary and a trip planner. It's true. We're doing that. Um, also, I feel like I... Like, um, what would be helpful for me, you guys, is um, feel free to, like, ask questions about, like, planning a trip. Uh, Because one thing I found is, like, people kind of struggle with, like, a lot of different things when it comes to trip planning. So if you guys have, like, specific questions when it comes to, like, trip planning, like, please, like, drop it in the comments. That will be really helpful for me. Um, Like, specifically, probably, like, more towards, like, the Europe stuff is, like, what we'll try to keep it to today. But I'll talk a little bit about a massive trip like this. First of all, like, let me be really clear. You guys do not need to go to Europe for like three weeks at one time and do 20 different theme parks back to back to have a good time. 
I think you totally could do like a week in Europe if you're in the US or like if you're in the UK and want to go to mainland Europe, like you could totally spend a week like in Germany or in France and and have like a really solid time. For me, what was most important on this trip um, was getting to like some of the more like iconic coasters and like the parks that had like a lot of coasters. So I don't think I can share my screen, but Alex, do you, can you do that? Oh yeah. How should we do it? Can you just go to rcdb.com, my favorite place yeah. to start trip planning? This is actually usually, you guys, like this is where I usually start planning my trips is with RCDB, which stands for the Roller Coaster Database. This is an epic I, coaster. You guys are so silly with your questions. Have you experienced a dual on Twisted Colossus? Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You guys are so silly. <laughs> Wait, did you did you screen share? That is pretty rare, though. Oh, sorry. Let me um <laughs> no. put it over me or something. <laughs> is six is days at Dollywood enough? Six days? No. <laughs> no. At least plan for twelve. <laughs> to get the full essence of Dolly. Right. Oh, oh God! What's happening now? Ooh, I don't know what moved. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully this is decent enough here. All right. Oh yeah, you're watching through the stream, so there's like the big delay. There's uh, a really big delay. Um, that's okay. I can still like talk through it. I think so. Usually, when I'm planning a big trip, the first thing that I'll do is go to RCDB. I use the search functionality. It's actually quite nice. And literally, the first thing that I did when I was looking at parks to go to Europe is I used the search function, and then I typed in the word Europe. And what you're going to get is a search result that says 1,216 amusement parks are located on the continent of Europe. And I clicked that. And I then filtered by the number of theme parks that still exist, which is 977. And then, quite honestly with you guys, I filtered them then by the number of roller coasters the parks had from most to least. And my goal was to go on as many roller coasters as possible. So I started then like <clears throat> plotting like where those, like trying to find out where those parks were on Google Maps. And that's kind of like how I started. I'm just gonna go through the chat really quick. Nice. Um, <clears throat> you guys are so silly with these questions. Um, <laughs> the silliest. Um, and so, yeah, so that's kind of like how I started was like really just going into RCDB, finding out like what parks in Europe have the most coasters so I could get like the best bang of my coaster credit count for my dollar, basically. And I knew basically the time frame that I was working with. And um, I took about two, well, the, the first itinerary that I started with this trip actually started in 2019, believe it or not, is when I first started planning a Europe trip. Um, and we originally had planned to go in 2020. Um, as you guys know, that clearly didn't happen because of the pandemic and a couple of other reasons. And so we waited until all of the parks were like back open, everything was like 100%, et cetera. Um, <clears throat> and then went in 2023. Um, where was I going with that information? Oh, but I had like two trips planned, basically like a two week trip that I was working with Alex to begin with. And then like we started talking about like, what would it be like to work to do three weeks? Um, but yeah, like for me, it was just like finding out like where the parks are located on Google Maps, what parks are like somewhat close to each other. Um, and another thing that is really important to me is sleep. And I think that if you guys are planning a, um, a trip to like, you guys have to like, remember you need to go to bed yeah. um to and so like better. one thing i tried to do on this trip was <clears throat> plan it so that way we were getting eight hours of eight hours of hotel time so they may not may not have been like eight hours of sleep time but eight hours of hotel time mm -hmm. and i think like the one thing we didn't really take into account that i would like do differently next time is like a lot of times on the way from the park to the hotel we had to stop for food because in um, in Europe, the parks closed much earlier. So like most of the time we didn't want to give up any like dinner time because we wanted to ride the rides or like see shows or do something else at the park. So we'd have to stop for dinner on the way home. And that was like another hour, hour and a half usually of transit time, which would get us to the hotel like super late at night anyway. Um, 
Yeah, I try to always do like two hours of driving max at a time, but that didn't always work out either. Um, sorry, I'm like Jet trying to read the choice. chat here. <laughs> sorry, I, yeah. just, I saw that it was funny. <laughs> Yeah, we we had talked about like jet lag is a choice. It's like our first day at Thorpe Park, like we talked about like doing a rest day um, and like just like sleeping for the first day. But honestly, the best thing I think you can do for jet lag is to get out in the sun um, when you're doing a trip like this and try to get your body to acclimate. Like body. even though the day at Thorpe Park was like quite rough when it comes to like being delusional. I do think it set us up for success for the rest of the trip because our body is acclimated to like the sun really quickly. Um, and I think we got a really good night's sleep after Thorpe and we were like feeling pretty good for the, the beginning part of the trip. Um, but yeah, I always try to do like, um, obviously like a park and I'll try to do like no more than two hours of driving after the park closes and then no more than two hours of driving the next morning to the next park. So I try to keep everything within four hours of each other. If anything is more than four hours, I usually like will try to book like a transit day. So that way you're not having to like drive like a crazy long distance or something. And like, sometimes like I'll fill that in with like a half day park. So Legendia was definitely like one of those half day parks for us where we knew that we were going to be traveling that day. And we kind of was like, we were like, if we get to that park, that's great. If we don't, we're not going to be like completely heartbroken over it either. Um, but we know that we want like two full days at Energylandia. <clears throat> Mark's comment there. <laughs> like the best thing you can do for jet lag is be out in the sun. First you <laughs> suspend first three days in UK. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> that's so a good true. Point. Thor Park, I mean, actually had some sun that day. I remember it. That's it true. Very- and Alton Towers. Yeah. Elm Towers yeah. Really good. We had a, it was sun rain, sun rain, sun rain, sun rain. Went <laughs> crazy at Elm Towers. It was crazy. Um, <clears throat> and so also, you guys, um, we also have now available is our exact itinerary, um, available for purchase, and that also gets you a trip planner template as well for a Google Sheet document. Let me get like a quick image of that up here for you guys. So we can share what all you get. Well, I guess I can just show it on my website. Here we go. Let's go to yeah, do that. Vintagesalishop.com. So if you scroll down here, we now have this little icon here. This little guy. Um, this is the full itinerary, um, where you get our full entire details on flights, theme parks, lodging, um, everywhere, <laughs> everywhere we stayed, and the prices, everything too. Um, the prices are definitely going to change um, for you guys, but this might give you a good rough estimate of what you can expect. Um, drive times between the parks and then a little trip builder for yourself so that you can build your own adventure. This is nine ninety nine on my website here. Um, Slaytreons get an epic little freebie if you're a part of the big sleigh and above. $5 tier and up, get this for free. Um, otherwise, the sleigh tier, $3 tier gets it for Four ninety nine. Um, so this is we came together on this and decided it was it would be an epic way to help allow us to continue doing what we're doing. And this is um, if you're interested in knowing our exact step by steps of what we did for the trip, then this would be a cool way to support the channel and get that information um, and get a little something in return. And it doesn't only just support my channel, it also supports Jeff's channel. We are also splitting all the revenue on the sales for the uh the european slication itinerary um so i can send that in the chat here if you guys would like to see it yourselves um and then also again slate your eyes get a epic discount on it and um even quite a lot of them get it for free <laughs> so what does that mean the links in the chat hopefully that comes through well oh the what does what mean I don't know. That's just that a mean? comment. <laughs> just in general. Oops, I think the, the links came through a little wonky there. Um, okay, let me try just. The... Yeah, this is like the, 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 this is like legit, you guys, the 100% like itinerary that we did. Um, I like dug out all of, because I actually deleted the tab. So the last like couple of days, I like pulled up all the emails that I had of like confirmations and stuff and try to get like the pricing and like the hotel names and all that good stuff in here. So you can see all of our drive There's times the... and mileage and that kind of stuff. Hopefully this link works. I'm gonna try clicking it. 
because it's like okay it was just also like mentioning me because it has my name like highlighted like i mentioned so i was like i'm not sure if that's working so that's the itinerary okay. link there and then eventually if you guys are <clears throat> part of the slate channel and in the chat here thank you so much really appreciate your extra support here it really goes um the distance and continues to help make this a sustainable thing for me as well um and but we can continue doing epic stuff together let me send that link as well um to make it easy for any Slatreons in the chat or if anybody would like to join the Slatreon, there's that option for you as well um so yeah that's that's our itinerary that was our agenda for this stream here we got it done in the super fast time of an hour 45 minutes <laughs> hung out for the whole time thank you this is a pretty long stream um we definitely covered a lot and had a whole lot of fun here. I had a blast doing this. I hope you guys did too. Same. And um, just so you guys know, if you guys joined the the Slaytreon, we are, well, Alex obviously has a Discord. I'm in there as well. And I'm always happy to so like, fun. yeah, it's so much fun. And then we're happy to like talk more about the trip in depth with you guys. And like, <clears throat> if you have any questions we'll about trip planning. Shout out to the Slaytreon Discord here. <laughs> These are some of the, <laughs> oops, I there we go. This is this is some of the <clears throat> chaos that occurs in the Discord, and it's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you'd like to join, it's a really good time. I would love to. Have you right off the um, end. Yeah, we were we were going off. <laughs> it was a literal party. Um, your B and Ally T-shirt is giving. Oh, slay! Thank you, Theme Parks of America. I think I should consider Someone? sleeping because it's late here in Europe. Oh, okay. Good night, Remsa. Uh, That's how you pronounce your name. Bosh with Josh says that we should go with Japan. J uh, yeah. Now? <laughs> That's what what <laughs> I mean, I can't go right now. I'm really, I literally Let's just go. got back from vacation. <laughs> <clears throat> I've got, you know some room on the credit card balances let's go <laughs> <laughs> will you go to japan maybe this moment right now we're gonna take are we actually gonna continue the live stream and just go to japan we're gonna take you guys actually home. yeah <laughs> this is a trip announcement actually <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> alex is actually in my bedroom waiting and we're gonna go to the airport right now yeah I, this is actually i reconstructed my bedroom at home <laughs> inside jeff's apartment <laughs> right how are you guys doing All today? Right. Doing great. I wish I was going to Japan right now. I would love, Same. love to. Go. I have been I to dream, Tokyo did. Disney. Um, I did Tokyo Disney back in 2018, but we didn't go to like any of like the 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 parks there. And I would love to go to like Fuji Q, Nagashima, Alexa, Kobuzu. Alexa, roller coaster. Yes. Oh, that's fun. I just realized I didn't have the coaster <clears throat> on. <laughs> Will you continue adding hour long vlogs? Of course. Yeah, absolutely. Just um, depends on, you know, like if I go to a park and a whole lot of stuff happens and the vlogs will be long. Um, it kind of just depends on everything that happens that day. Like really, I, I don't really, I mean, I cut a lot out, but it's you're still really quite detailed. Like, I mean, the things I cut out are like errors in speech or sometimes I'm like, eh, what I said here, I didn't think was actually super interesting. So I'll cut that out or that doesn't need to go in because it just interrupts the flow or whatever. But for the most part, it's like, I'd say pretty much 80% of the footage I take goes in the vlog. So like what you guys are seeing is also like very close to exactly how the day goes in the, in the parks. That goes through Slay. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. It's so cool. It's just a, um, LED like light strip, like LED neon style light strip, and I just stuck it up there in the shape of a roller coaster. I would love to go to Glenwood Caverns. That's actually like a solid bucket list park for me. I really want to ride. Um, oh shoot, what's it called? The newest one, Cliff Diver something. <laughs> it's not the right. Oh the, yeah, I know what you're talking about. The green, the green one. <laughs> I yeah. sound like such a GP. I want to ride the green one. The um, green one. I want to go on the green one. <laughs> Oh, let me pin my link here so that way it stays accessible for everyone. Oh my gosh, I went to Silverwood a couple of years, Brie, before I was vlogging, and it was such a cute park. It was so fun. I want to go to Silverwood so bad. I want to ride so that cute. mega Vacoma boomerang. That's scary. That was like one coaster that actually scared <laughs> me. <laughs> yes, that's why I want to ride it. <laughs> that's so fun. Excited. 
go to Canada's Wonderland. I've been. There's a video on my channel about Canada's Wonderland if you want to watch it. There is um, indeed. Oh, I moved. I have to move your link around here. Boop. I don't actually li like the vlog, but. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> I was testing out some new things when I did my little Labor Day series, and um, I didn't like it, to be honest with you guys. But I think <laughs> yeah, that's like what's fun journey. about being, yeah, it's a creative journey. And like sometimes you just try things and like do things differently, and you either like them or you don't. And I think I'm like starting, what I'm really excited about, not to like keep shamelessly self promoing, but I think that over the last like year, I've really found like what works for me and my style. And I'm really excited for you guys to see the um, Australia content. I think I've done a really good job of like finding what works for me. And we had some really, really beautiful park days too. So the footage just looks oh, so good. I can't, oh, I Defiant. Want to Wonderland so bad. That's so fun. I need to go back because I need to redo that vlog. <laughs> or maybe I should just like re-edit the footage. <laughs> It's just uploaded. <laughs> Screw it again. Redo. Jeff's version. Yeah, Jeff's version. <laughs> I need to release my vault series. Uh, the From the Vault series. For... The first Lagoon. one will be Lagoon. April 16th on the one year anniversary when I win. Oh, uh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm planning everyone. Like... Yeah. It just takes me a long time to get the videos out. Which, thank you guys for all your lovely comments on that too. That you're like, yo, take as much time as you need. Um, which is super sweet. I appreciate that. Will you ride the new lightning rod? Absolutely. Oh yeah, I definitely want to ride the new lightning rod too. Totally, totally. I think that um, there's been a lot of criticism over the high speed chain lift and um, I don't think much of the ride actually has changed to be honest with you guys. Like you didn't really like fly over the top with the launch anyway. It was kind of silly. Yeah, um, I'm so glad. I, I'm really thankful I got to ride it with the launch. But yeah, by the time you got to the top of the hill, it was like, you know, just you know, yeah. going over it. It just went <laughs> over. Yeah. I, if it increases the reliability of the ride, I think that that's a win. Yeah, I think so too. Because like, oh, like we're watching El Toro Ryan's vlog of him going off and be like, oh, there's not a ride closure sign here. That's great. I'm <laughs> like, oh, hey, <laughs> you know, that is that is really nice. It's true. <laughs> oh, thank you, Noah, and oh, thank you, Alex. Of course. Getting, uh, um, yeah, thank you, Noah, for linking that too. I'm only 19 away from 1700, you guys. 19 from 1700 right Dude, now. You shot 1600 to 1700 real quick. Yeah, it's uh, it's been happening. There's been some days where I log in in the morning and I'm like shook with what happened overnight. I actually, um, I will share with you guys. I like to be very transparent about YouTube. Um, I actually got my very first payment from YouTube today. My first like, let's go. I was, which was which was crazy. I so I got monetized back in November, which is really exciting. And it took me uh, about four months to get my first payment from them. So it was really exciting today to see a direct deposit from YouTube come in. That was cool. Yeah. Isn't it so, such an exciting feeling to finally build up? Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, $111, if you guys were wondering. I, I guess I'm, I'll be very transparent about it. But like, it was, it was such a cool moment. I remember when Big I first slay. got monetized, right. it was like every five months, I would get a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's a, that's just, I'm happy. I still have a, a, a job. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise we would not be going on another slaycation. Um, right. <laughs> will you ever go back to six flags? Play, so we'll play button. Yes. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Let's go. I'm like, I'm 1.6% of the way there. Oh, 1682, 18 more. Right. 18 more to go. Nice. It's happening. Shout out to you have to write them as a street born. Yeah. Zaza's going to go crazy them. in the chat with their suggestions. Someone else said something Who? crazy too. Oh, it was Zaza. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ukraine? Do they have like, parks yeah. in Ukraine? <laughs> war torn, uh, war, wartime vlog. Like, no. I was really, oh, that was something I like. I actually cut out of what I said in, in Legendia when we were in Poland. Or maybe I did. Maybe I said it in Legendia. I can't remember. Um, but I was like, man, it's a little, it's so sad thinking about the situation in Ukraine right now, being so close to it in Poland. It was like, my heart just goes out to the people of Ukraine, like Slava Ukraine. Um, and so I was just like, um, I, I just, it didn't fit in the moment in the vlog. I really wanted to keep it, but it was, I don't know. I also didn't want to like kill the, kill the mood entirely too, but it's also like important to talk about. So 
Do you still have your heels? I do, Adam. Welcome to the chat, Adam. Wait, I can literally get them out right now. <laughs> I haven't worn my heelys in forever. While you get them out, somebody asked, like, what the opinion on a Nemesis Reborn is from the clips. UK Thrills, I saw that Alton Towers was only running it with four rows because the back four rows of the train are too rough um, for people to ride in because I think they refurbished the old trains. Um, so I really hope that they figure out how to run a full train on it. That's my <laughs> thoughts on Nemesis Reborn today. Is that really what's happening? I haven't seen anything about it. Yeah, she's only running oh, half. <laughs> so. Keep watching Cruising Coasters. So, yeah, he'll make a living from it. And then if he does, then, like, we're really unchained. Untamed. My God, could you guys imagine <clears throat> if I became full-time and Alex was full-time YouTube? You would be getting, like, four slaycations a year. Just saying. Yo, we <laughs> might just never <laughs> stop. <laughs> that might just be the channel. <laughs> yeah. Although 2023 was bonkers for me, like, I think I'm finally, finally, like, getting over being tired from everything that I did in 2023. <laughs> it's been nice to, to stay home, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. I would, I think I'm gonna take this year a bit slower. I'm definitely not gonna, like, girl boss it up on, and send it on a two-month-long road trip right into a three-week Europe trip or something, and then stay away for, like, that was so silly. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Slications by season. Love it. Why is it so bright, Alex? The sun is out. Um, He's in three hours behind. There's a us, sun. For me. In our so it's system. Like... No, really, I'm, I'm in a different time zone. I'm in Arizona. Um, so it's only 522 my time. I'm just being a goober. What was the most intense ride on the trip? I would say Talacan. It's like forces. What did you say before? You said intense flat ride. I said it was Mystery, oh, Castle. Mystery Castle. Like the most, in, it was like an intense moment. I, um, but I think, yeah, Talacan was probably like the most like intense ride. We pulled seven <clears throat> on it. Yeah, we did the little okay. thing with the Apple right, Watch, forces. right? Um, yeah. We did a, a that's like the record. one time I actually remember to do it. I'm so glad I did it because I think that's like probably the highest G-Force we pulled. <laughs> Oh, someone asked if we ever felt sick on the rides. You guys, there was one moment where I thought I was going to, like, have to tap out for the entire day. It was when we rode the stupid crazy bats at Fantasia Land with the VR thing. Mm -hmm. And the VR was, like, two seconds ahead of what the train was actually doing. And I actually thought I was going to vom on the ride. Like, I don't Same. usually get sick on rides. And I actually was, like, we, we had to tap. That's, like, actually when I think you got your bratwurst after because we had to, like, tap yeah, on the rides down. for, like, two for a while, like, <clears throat> I really was not feeling good after Crazy Bats with the VR. She was, yeah, Crazy Bats, it really does suck. It was very crazy. <clears throat> this is our ride forces from Talacan here. The highest four is seven Gs. But, yeah, Crazy Bats. Fly your Manta. Fly. <laughs> Easy. For sure. Yeah, fly. <clears throat> Although, fly. Manta or Tatsu. Tatsu. For sure. You know what I want to see, Alex? Hmm. At Animal Kingdom, right, in the Pandora, like, Avatar Land, oh, create a, a Vekoma New flying coaster there with, like, flying around the mountains in Avatar. That's what I want. Make that happen. That would be perfect. Like, that would yeah. be so incredible. Because, like, if someone's going to do it as good as Ripburg, it's going to be Disney. Yeah, absolutely. I wish... I wish and that that makes me wish that like Avatar: The Last Airbender was like a Disney IP now, because like imagine mm -hmm. them making like a Northern Air Temple with a new Jin Vacoma flyer like around it, and you're like on a glider, like that would be insane. That would just, uh, I would live. When I just I don't know why no, no one else <laughs> has. I don't know why no one has made another one. Like, how is Fly the only one still out there? It's crazy. Yeah, it's not like a. Is it an expensive ride model? It's not like a mock extreme spinner. I certainly can't afford it, but yeah, I'm saying. Um, have you have you guys ever done any of the European fairs like Oktoberfest? No, I would love to do a European fair, especially Oktoberfest. That sounds super fun. Um, I would love to do like a, a European backpacking journey at some point in my life, and I might honestly do that this summer. I have someone who is offering me a spare bedroom in Berlin, 
So I might just like move move to Berlin a little bit <laughs> for like two months at home base from there and just like bounce around and we'll see what happens. Um, that's something that's like I'm that's that's a vibe I'm getting from the universe right now. Um, oh, and something else I teased in one of my community posts is we are straight up going to go hang out with a certain pop star who loves roller coasters just as much as we do. <laughs> April 12th, I'm going to hang out with her and that will be an epic vlog. <laughs> That's an, I literally still don't understand how this is happening for you. Like I'm happy for you, but I don't, I don't get it. It's crazy. <laughs> I hope it's. I hope it's Lord. That would be epic. <laughs> it's this going to be a cool vlog. I'm really excited. Um, and then also, like, she also wants to ride roller coasters together too in the future. Oh, thank you, John. Um, so there will be future vlogs with said pop star Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift tees. Um, oh, I wish. I'm already absolutely dying about this one. Taylor Swift would just be like, I don't know. I don't even know. My entire body would turn inside out. Same. Like four times over. Like the, my entire body turning inside out has already happened like once at least for this one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you play Planet Coaster? I don't actually. I haven't played it in forever. Um, I used to have it. I mean, I have it on Steam. I don't know if my computer, I mean, I'm sure my computer will run it. I just got a good laptop upgrade for an Epic MacBook, but um mostly it's just hard making time for video games really the only video game i make time for is like fortnite and that's like maybe one hour a week <laughs> madonna wait that throws me back to dream flux uh um Efteling. jeff when you said madonna <laughs> when we're, wait. do you remember that moment no <laughs> oh no i'm gonna have to pull this up when Wait, I, I don't know what happened. I remember I almost died at Efteling. I remember when I fell down the stairs while I was recording. Oh, God, yeah, right when we got there. <laughs> Volga yeah. Rock. Let me go to Efteling really quick. We have, to, we have to watch this. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> the Madonna moment goes. Um, we, we can probably find it from a comment, honestly. Maybe not. Okay, it's not switching. This is the 25th anniversary of Roller Coaster Tycoon. That's crazy. Wait, what? Mark oh, said awesome. today is the 25th anniversary. That is, I do feel very We're officially old. Officially old. You're correct. We are indeed. <laughs> That's a really good point. We are officially old. Where is Dream Blood? What is the yeah, next park you plan on visiting? Oh, tomorrow I might go to SeaWorld. I'm not going to vlog it, but I might go to SeaWorld tomorrow. Slay. I want to get my SeaWorld vlog out that was filmed back in November so badly because it was my first time writing Pipeline. And I love Pipeline. I we live, just, uh, Oh my god, I literally found it. That was it. Great. That was the moment. How did I Wait, really? That? that was crazy. What? Yeah, that was the Wait, exact okay. moment. And I had, even had my cutaway reaction to me editing. That's insane. I just completely guessed on that. I don't know if you heard it. Did you guys hear it? No. I gotta wait for it to come through for you. <laughs> wait, let me unmute this. Oh, let me shoot. I have our faces in the way too. <laughs> I'm so good at streaming. This one? Oh, no, I don't want to do that one. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're just going to slide the window over. Oh, no, we need to shrink the <sighs> Can't grab it. There we go. Oh, that makes it way too small. All right. Did it come through for you yet? I'll play it one more time. Yeah, I'm watching it now. That was it. That was that's the <gasps> Oh my god, I remember that now. Okay, no, I remember that now. Madonna! <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> that was a pretty to delirious slay, day. That was. That was indeed. To me, slay means way bigger than awesome and amazing. Yeah. I, I, I Googled it once just to see like what Google would say. And it said to do something exceptionally well. And I'm like, slay. I thought that was a good like description. That's what I tell people now <laughs> in case someone like asks. Oh, we, um, all right. Well, we had a, I am getting a, quite tired and hungry here. I think I'm super it's sorry. about time to call it. 
and my armpits have been sweating like crazy. <laughs> so I don't remember sweating. I'll just though. say what. Oh, yeah. They're even sweatier now. Get food and rest. Yep. I think it's time to do that. A Thank Taco you guys Bell for hanging out with us. 24 hour stream. You guys are out of your mind. Yeah, 24 hours. I have kind of thought about that though. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, thank you guys for staying up and hanging out with us. Um, all the European besties over there. Um, we love you. Big loves. We will see you yeah, next thank time. You. Um, yeah, thank you for everything. Thank you for supporting us. And Thanks, guys. Slay the day this away. Drink fun. water. Go for a walk. <laughs> yes. Take care of yourself. Bye, guys. Bye. And, oh, bye, and <laughs> <laughs> wait, did it end? Okay, yeah. <laughs>